Welcome to Fastlane. I'm Escobar Page, and today's bootography is a Porsche 911. This is Reef Jones's 1976 Porsche 911 S. While trawling through the trenches of online marketplaces back in 2016, Reese came across a dream car of his. For a price that seemed too good to be true. Turns out, as the saying goes, if it does sound too good to be true, it probably is. And this Porsche was no exception. Reese did indeed get a Porsche 911. I mean, technically. Like, he got the shell and the wheels. And absolutely nothing else. No engine, no brakes, no interior, no wiring, no driveline, not even the handbrake came on this car. To add salt to injury, once Reese got the 911 home, he couldn't work on it for 12 months as he had nowhere for it, the poor soul. But that didn't deter him. Instead, he spent that 12 months researching and finding all the parts he needed for his build. And then he got cracking. The interior has a custom built half cage that's red with Sparco 4 point harnesses passing through to a pair of Cypher Evo 2000 seats, which will keep you nice and secure when you're reading your RS white face gauges and ripping through the Hargett Pro Raised Race Shifter and stomping on the Tilton 600 series pedal box. There's a full Porsche 993 GT2 Club Sport body attached to the shell with a lot of time and patience in welding, cutting and lining up the panels to make it perfect. Once that was sorted, the car was painted in jet black and the Porsche 997 Brembo 4 pot calipers and custom made RSR 330mm two piece rotors were installed. The Michelin Sport tyres are wrapped around a set of Monaco three piece wheels that are 18 by 10 with zero offset at the front and 18 by 12 and a half negative 76 at the back. Not bad, good choice. The heart of the 911 is powered by an unsuspecting motor. It's definitely not the air-cooled flat-six engine, that's for sure. Instead, it's the mighty 5.7-litre Chev LS1 in all of its pushrod glory. It took some time to get the LS1 in the back and behaving well, as it meant playing with the cooling and having the radiator all the way at the front. There's a custom set of stainless 180-degree headers with no balance pipe to make it not sound like an LS1 with an intake and tune. The cradle again was custom made to hold the engine and the Subaru SCI gearbox that's been converted to two-wheel drive reversed in the original mounting points. All this makes Reese's Porsche 911 achieve 400 forces of V8 piston powering fire. Thanks for watching. If you like this photography, give us a like and share this with your friends. If you haven't yet, you'd be a lot cooler if you subscribed and hit that bell icon so you can get notified with every video that we upload. Ciao for now, Fastliners.